Hello everyone and welcome back to my Ultimate Iron Man series. In the last video I mentioned getting a potential new upgrade uh, during this video, which I'm pretty sure none of you will guess what it is, because uh, you probably were thinking with how close I am to 91 Slayer that it would be uh, Primordial Boots or Precasion Boots, but no. I'm actually very close to 87 crafting, and at 87 I can actually boost plus 5 to get a Necklace of Anguish. So that's what I'm going to try to do this video. I'm going to go ahead and buy some Astral Runes here and do some Charter Ship crafting. So now i got to figure out a nice Fashionscape outfit since I'm going to be here for a little while, not too long. Oh, I'm an idiot. I just realized I have a Tome of Fire. I didn't have a Tome of Fire the last time I trained crafting. It's actually been so long since I've done this. Uh, I didn't need these Fire Runes at all. Okay, now i just got to find a good Charter Ship that has open worlds. So typically the best charters for UIMs are ones that aren't near banks, uh, since regular irons are going to want to just buy the stock out and then take it to a bank. So that's why Catherby is typically not a good one to use. Uh, but I would think this Priftinus one here would be pretty good because it's quite far from a bank. Uh, you got to run like all the way over here. Okay, so I found uh, a world with full stock. So for those that aren't aware how this method works, you just buy out 10 bucks of sand and 10 soda ash. Could also buy 10 seedweed too if for some reason the soda ash is uh, depleted and there's still buckets of sand. And then you cast Super Glass Make, and on average, this gives like a 30% increased yield. As you can see there, I got 14 molten glass, whereas normally on a furnace you'd only get 10. And then you just use the glass blowing pipe on it and, and then make your the highest thing you can make, which for me is lantern lenses. But at the next level, I do unlock the light orbs. Some people choose to keep doing Lantern Lenses even after level 87 because Lantern Lenses are tradable, so you can just sell them quickly to the uh, crew members here, but the Light Orbs are not tradable, so you have to drop all of them manually. Uh, I personally would start doing the more XP one anyway, but it's, pre it's preference, really. So you actually make a lot of the money back. You slowly lose a little bit of money here. As you can see, it's really not that AFK. That's a reason I don't really like it that much. Um, when I want to do a huge crafting grind, I'm going to just mine my own uh, sand to get noted buckets and then farm my own giant seaweed because that method's a lot more AFK. But since I'm just going for one level and it's not even a full level, I'm just going to do this method. Alright, since there's not much else to show, I'll just see you guys back when I finally have 87 crafting. All right, finally, there is 87 crafting. So I can now craft the empty light orbs, which is a little bit faster XP per hour. But more importantly, I can boost plus five to level 92 in order to make the Zenite necklace, which can be enchanted to make the necklace of anguish, which is the best in slot ranged amulet. So now I'm gonna return to Slayer now, and if I ever get a black demon task, I'm gonna kill some demonic gorillas and hopefully get a Zenite shard because I have plenty of chaos runes to buy an onyx and then I'll be able to boost to make this necklace of anguish which should be a really good upgrade. So I actually forgot I had all these grimy herbs from shamans that I hadn't cleaned yet so I need to clean those real quick to consolidate them into my already cleaned stacks. So this is actually probably gonna be a few thousand herblor experience Okay, I finished cleaning the herbs, and that was nearly 5k Herblor XP. So, not bad at all. Oh, I also just remembered I planted a bunch of Renars. Uh, well, in fact, I planted Renars in, like, pretty much every patch uh, during the Shaman's Grind. And since I don't actually hold the space for Renars in my looting bag, I'm going to go ahead and just farm all these Renars and make them in the prayer pots. And I should get quite a bit back, even though I used a lot during shamans oh and it's even my first time getting to officially utilize that mounted xerix talisman to get to this patch at hosidius and man that's so quick and i even have a bunch of snape grass planted to help me make prayer pots okay i finished making all the prayer pots using just renars i planted during my shaman's grind and i got 240 doses which is 60 full prayer pots so that's not too bad. Uh, I used quite a bit during Shaman's, but I guess it gives quite a bit back too. 
So I got everything out from Hespori and was about to start getting ready for Slayer, but I just realized I forgot about my shield left half. I still need to complete that master stash unit. So the master stash unit, as I'm going to show on the screen right now, is located north of Castle Dracon and it requires a dragon square shield, a boater, and a split bark body. I have a few boaters stored in my costume room right now. I can easily make a dragon square shield with the shield left half, but I still need the split bark body. There's really only two ways to get one. One is to just do Shades of Morden until you get a bunch of fine cloth. And I've done a lot of Shades of Morden, and I'm not a huge fan of it, to be honest. And the other is getting it as a drop from the Chaos Fanatic. It's a 1 out of 25 drop from the Chaos Fanatic. So I think I'm going to do that route. Because it would also be really cool to get some Wildy Boss kills on the Ultimate Iron Man. Because I'm sure it's really easy to get ranks. So that boss is actually weak to range. So one of the best weapons you can use that's worth risking in the wildy, it would be the magic shortbow. And with my fletching level, I can easily just fletch one. All I gotta do is cut some magic logs and just make some magic shortbows. And I'd want to use rune arrows too. So I'm either going to get some rune arrows from Gauntlet or LMS, uh, maybe even a combination of both. And then just bring a few, a few prayer pots in and maybe a few, few food. Because it's basically a zero damage boss. You pray mage against the boss and you dodge a special attack. And if you run out of prayer, you can actually just use the Chaos Altar because the boss is located like in this area, right by this obelisk, and you can just run to the Chaos Altar right here to recharge your prayer. Although it is risky because a lot of PKers can't peer. He also has a 1 in 1000 chance of dropping the Chaos Elemental pet. So pretty much just get some Dehyde and Magic Shortbow and Rune Arrows, and that's all I need really. Okay, so I killed a few deranged archaeologists and got a black tea eyed body and eight black dragon hides. So that's enough for two full sets. And I also got a crystal key, which I made into an enhanced one from some of the shards I got from Gauntlet. So let's see if we get anything good from the chest here. Looks like it was just some shards in the dragonstone. Uh, since I have a dragonstone, I might as well make it into a glory to use f for killing Chaos Fanatic. Okay, I got a glory now too. Uh, this probably won't last too long in the wildy, but it'll help move my DPS a little bit. Alright, I'm currently spinning some bowstrings, and then I'm going to go chop some magic logs and fletch some magic short bows. And this mounted Xerix talisman in my house takes me just right next to some magic trees. So this shouldn't take too long at all. Okay, so now I have six magic short bows to work with. Uh, the only thing I still need is the rune arrows. Uh, so I think I'm going to do some LMS, because you get quite a bit from LMS. So it's actually been a while since I've done LMS, so hopefully I'm not too rusty. This is also my first time on a new LMS map. It looks pretty cool. It's got this, like, dark theme to it. I got him. Finally. Oh, I clutch it out? Dude, that was so close. Oh my god. That was close. Okay, it looks like I'm about ready to start killing this boss. Uh, I got a few sets of black dehyde here, and I got six MSBs, a few rune arrows. I have an Ava's accumulator because I don't want to take the assembler into the deep wilderness because you'll lose it forever. And a glory. 
And I also got a I got some ranging pots that I can unnode as I need them. And the locator orb to get my health flow so I can death pile here. So my stuff will stay here for one hour before I have to pick it back up again. So I'm all geared and ready to go now, and this is what my setup's looking like. I actually kind of look like a Venezuelan about to go to Revenants. <laughs> I got the Black Dehyde, MSB, Glory, Rune, uh, Arrows. And I'm using Stews as food because the Chaos Fanatic actually unequips your gear. So, yeah, when you eat the stew, you still have a bowl. So he has no space to unequip your gear. So I'm just going to head over there via this obelisk. And probably Hot Pearls because it looks like there's some PKers trying to do some lures and stuff right here. And since I have the Wilderness Hard Diary done... I can just set the destination and teleport right to here. So here we go. Let's hope I don't <laughs> encounter many PKers during this. Okay, so he is way tankier than I thought. Like, way tankier. But I did get a looting bag at least. So that's cool. It looks like I got about 20 seconds to go restore my prayer and hopefully not die over here. Yeah, this boss was definitely, like, probably designed around the blowpipe or something, but obviously I can't bring a blowpipe into the wilderness because I'll lose it, but, like, I'm hitting quite a bit of zeros on him. He's, he's a little tanky. Oh my god, I got split bark legs. <laughs> uh, I'll take those because I, I can store them in my house, although I won't be able to take them out until I get the full set, but once I get a full set, that'd be, that could be kind of nice if I want to get blood bark ever. I'm looking for the body, though. Oh yeah, you also dropped Zami Wines. That's pretty nice. Hopefully I get a few here and don't die. Because <laughs> I do need to make a few more ranging pots. So I'm going to go ahead and cut my trip short and put these split bark legs in my house before I get PK'd. I can't take either the body or legs out, but if I ever want to finish this set, then that would be a convenient way of having some in the future. Oh my god, that's hilarious. I actually got out. Oh my god, I just got split bark legs again. Are you kidding me? I guess that would just be a nice alk. Alright, so I figured I might as well charge my glory too, just in case the teleport somehow comes in handy. Uh, but, if, I mean, if they teleblock me, I'm probably dead, and if they don't, I can just kind of run to the obelisk. But, who knows, maybe it'll, it'll be helpful. It's about time to reset my death piles. And I'm probably going to have three piles. I'm going to have one pile with the stuff I'm currently wearing, one pile for all the stuff that would go in my looting bag, and then one pile for all the remaining stuff. Let's get the locator orb again and start picking up some stuff. Alright, there's the second death pile. Alright, everything's reset now. And it's convenient that I have a pile that has pretty much everything I need in it right there. I'm actually getting pretty low on rune arrows too. I've used almost half of them up already, so I'm going to buy a few more from the archery shop here in Prif. What? Split bark legs again? What is this? This is insane. I don't know how it keeps giving me split bark legs. It's the third one today. <laughs> Hopefully body soon. Are you are you serious? The four split bark legs. It just doesn't want to give me a body for some reason. Ah. <sighs> All right, with a drop rate being about 1 out of 25.6, I am technically a little dry for the split bark body now. Hopefully not too much longer, but if it is much longer, I might just get ranked on the high scores, which would be cool. Oh, that sucks. That wasn't my kill. Man, I took a lot of damage that time too. That's the first time that's happened. Dude, this is this is getting old. This is it's gotta be a joke. What's the fifth one? 
What? Just give me the body. Dude, that's a back to back. How how could this keep happening? <laughs> what? This makes no sense at all. Like they're the same drop rate. Why am I getting six of these and none of the other thing? Uh, I guess just that's just how RNG works, I guess. All right, I'm getting attacked. Let's get my glory ready. Ha! <laughs> what noobs. Oh my god. Oh my god, I split bark legs again. As the PKers were coming for me, that's ridiculous. <laughs> Come on. Put the split bark legs on, run! I got out, I got out, I actually got out, holy crap. I don't know what's up with all the PKers now, I guess it's, it's getting kind of late, so it's like more prime time now. Okay, is my, is my account broken or something? My, my account must be broken. Or this boss must be broken. Eight split bark legs. What? Huh? Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. You already know the drill. Alright, and there is 50 Chaos Fanatic kill count. I may be going extremely dry here, but at least now we'll be on the high scores. So far to log out and refresh them. I'm now ranked 32 uh, for Chaos Man that kills on an Ultimate Iron Man. So that's pretty cool. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I actually got out and escaped from that rat. There is 100 Chaos Fanatic still without the Split Bark body. So I did one kill a very long time ago for the diary, and then I've done 99 kills today. Nine legs, no body. Wait, is this guy gonna die? I can just teleport out, by the way. <laughs> no, no, it's been so long since I've seen a split bark piece and its legs again. No. <laughs> oh my god, it's been like 30, 30 kills since I've seen the split bark piece. Why are you doing me like this? Why?
Not again. <sighs> yep, you know the drill. Oh my god, I just got the ancient stuff. That's a 1 out of 128 drop, and I got it exactly at 128 KC. <laughs> That's pretty cool, actually. This is one of the few ways you can get it. It's actually a good elk, too. Oh nice, I got a bunch of rune arrows from Gauntlet, so that's actually going to be nice for doing more Chaos Fanatic. Now I got like 600 of them. I hope I don't get PK'd for all of them, though. Oh my god. Oh my god, I finally got it. Oh my god, get me out, get me out, get me out of here, get me out of here, get me out of here. Oh my god. Oh my god, please don't get PK'd, please don't get PK'd. Finally. God, it's a 1 out of 25.6 drop. It took this long to get. No way! Yes! Finally! I'm free! 138 kills. So after that ridiculous misfortune and terrible RNG, I'm now ranked 14 for UIM Chaos Fanatic kills. Unfortunately, I didn't get a Malediction or Odium Shard. That would have been cool for the collection log. Okay, and to make the Dragon Square Shield, you take the shield left half, which is very rare drop from monsters. And then you can come here to the Legends Guild top floor and buy the shield right half for 750,000 GP. Which is pretty expensive. And then you can just go smith it on any anvil. Okay, and there it is, the Dragon Square Shield. It looks pretty cool. And the last item needed for that Master Stash is any Boater. And I happen to have two in my treasure chest here. Uh, I think I'll store the orange one. I think I like the purple one a little better, and I'd like to have that easy access to that one. Yeah. All right, now I got everything I need to make that Master Stash. Uh, so I just need to navigate all the way up to the north side of the Castle Dracon. So this will take a little while. Okay, geez, I hope I never get this clue stuff. It's like all the way up here. But if I ever do, now I'm prepared. I have everything stored there. Ah, that's such a nice feeling. It's one of the best feelings of a UIM, is being able to stash things away. So on the old school RuneScape wiki, there's actually the option to highlight stashes that you've already completed by clicking on them. So I actually have quite a few already done here. And this checks off one more as well. Yeah, it looks like I've got like about half of them done. That's pretty sick. One day I hope to get them all done. Well, I got off on quite a little bit of a tangent to say the least, but now I'm finally ready to go back to Slayer again. My current task is trolls, so I like to just AFK them down here in the troll stronghold. It's nice to just kick back and put on auto retaliate and do a chill task like trolls. The great thing about them is uh, they're aggressive and they don't hit too hard, so you, can, you don't even have to worry about praying. You can just keep auto retaliate on and just chill. So I actually like to do it down here, in the basement of the stronghold. So I'm gonna just Dragon Battle Axe spec and here we go. And this task shouldn't take too long at all. Okay, so I finished that Trolls task, let's get the next task. Ooh, Greater Demons. I've considered doing Zami, but I think I'm just gonna wait a little longer. I wanna get my stats a little higher. I'm just gonna AFK these, because they're also a really good AFK task. Okay, there's a Greater Demons task done, and I actually got three shards th in that task, so that'll be useful if I get a Black Demons task here and uh, to do Demonics with. I can't charge my Arc Light right now, though, because it's already full. Ooh, Dark Beast, I'll do that real quick. Ooh, a Jad task. Okay, I guess I'll get set up for that now. I'm actually going to save this Jad task for next video. Unfortunately, I did not get a chance to get a Zenite Shard this video. You can thank my split bark RNG for that. But hopefully next video I will get a black demon task and begin hunting that shard. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. 
And feel free to comment down below if you like the Wildy content or not. I might consider doing more in the future. Most of you guys aren't subscribed yet. And at the time of recording this, I'm at 47 subscribers. So let's try to get that number to 50 by next video. Thanks for tuning in, everyone.